Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Princess Evangel W Happiness Konomi Route. That night I told everyone I would be staying at the lodge starting tomorrow. What what do you what do you mean have some fun? Oh man, I can have fun with Ayaka. Oh I'm sorry. Oh no I I I mean fun with Ayaka Yeah. Um, uh, just now, J just now, last week. Eh, I apparently got the blood of an assassin running through me. What's <laughs> Oh, uh, how'd you know? You don't need to repeat it twice. What's with that description? Like you've come and seen it yourself? Wait, wait, what? what? Oh, it, I. Not like that. So don't just decide that's how it is on your own. Uh, well, well, it does catch my attention. I'm a in a very uh, vigorous way. The dojo gets sweltering, it's filled with the floral scent of sweat, but in spite of that, or maybe because of it, it makes me want to take in a deep breath. Ah. Oh boy. I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm sorry. Oh boy, it's scary. No, 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 it's not like that. I was just kidding. I, I mean, I wasn't kidding, but it was just a small part of the reason. A ridiculously small part. Uh, um, basically, I want to be nearby to give Konomi-chan my support. Why is everyone so shocked all of a sudden? Huh. I hadn't meant to say anything strange, but Chiho and the others reacted with dazed expressions. Is that weird? Ayaka-san replied as if representing everyone present. Konomi Chan is competing in the Nationals next month on the 5th, so... Oh, you do? Everyone nodded. So it did. That may have been part of the reason she was given her title. Yeah, this is all still new to me, but that's not all. I'm not sure how to put this. Ever since I joined the Naginata Club, Konomi-chan just seems so radiant to me. Man, in reality, she's amazing. She carries the Naginata Club on the those petite shoulders of hers. She shows true leadership and works really hard to prepare for the tournament. She's really dazzled me. Yeah. For some reason, everyone slowly migrated into the corner of the room during my admiration-filled Rambo. Ah. Huh. Where did Rico come from? Huh? I can hear all of you. No, 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 not really. That isn't. Uh, 
Why why are you like that? <laughs> and then just you just <laughs> what's going on? I like how Rico is just always smiling. I see her all, hear all of you. Ahem. After loudly clearing my throat, everyone returns to their original positions. Anyway, I've always liked sports, so with that being said, I just want to support her. That's really all there is to it. She, she does! She is! She's super delighted! Kind of? Not really. Yeah. Yeah. Does she have a tiny, tiny, frowny, uh, frown there? Yeah, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Okay. Boo, boo, boo. The path up to the lodge was not a terrible incline, but it was still rough making trips back and forth along at this time of year. Air wasn't as humid as it was in the city, but that so that was a huge lifesaver. I was surrounded on all sides by the cries of the cicadas and crisp heat. Oh, Konomi-chan! I had been making trips here on a near daily basis until now, but this was the first time she had ever been waiting for me at the entryway. What's the matter? I see. Thank you. She went out of her way to wait for me in this blazing heat. On a closer look, there were beads of sweat forming on her forehead. She's got a bit of a strange side to her. But Konomi-chan is a really nice girl. Thank you. Oh, we're, we're patting her head now. That sudden thought I subconsciously lifted my hand. For a moment I thought she would say, what are you doing? But that wasn't the case at all. In fact, she seemed pretty happy. I'm happy you came here to meet me. I brushed her ever so slightly sweaty hair. Just as, just as I had thought, she showed me a happy smile. Oh yeah. Getting everything ready? Ah, I see. Konomi-chan explained before that she wanted to eat the second she got hungry, hadn't she? Why don't I help you out from now on? Yeah, I would feel bad if all I did was eat your food without actually helping. No. I wouldn't say I'm great at it, but... Nomi-chan looked very surprised. Anyhow, my parents got divorced really early on. I guess I picked it up out of necessity. What? Men never go in the kitchen? What? That... what? Huh? I always go to the kitchen. Ah, the elderly might have that impression. The fiery aspects of Konomi-chan may have been the influence of her grandmother. Yeah, uh, um, it's okay if I use a kitchen knife like normal, right? Oh, that's not what I meant. 
that curry and naan every day, so I decided to make a simple stir fries, thinking we should make something different once in a while. Oh! And I'm gonna end the episode here, everybody. Let's see what our food will be like in the next episode. Woo! Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy foodie time. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys didn't, please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you, everybody, for watching this episode, and you will hear me in the next one. Bye!